Hello, so we are here at uh, the CIF Congress in Italy with Dr. Stefano Tassan. Uh, so Stefano, you have a poster selected to the Congress where you explain two cases that you have with the Tony Bus. Can you please explain to us what you what you uh, present? Yes, okay, thank you. Uh, so we had the opportunity to use the Tony Bus since beginning last year. And uh, you had, we had a learning curve to improve our understanding of the system and the device. But the device itself is very really straightforward. The use is very, very easy. And you have all your data on your the Connect app on your iPhone. Uh, mainly, we use mainly the, the system on very low grade lameness, which I mean anything ranging from. I'm not feeling the horse okay, very right. Uh, in this and that kind of situation, from what we supposed to be a one out of five grade lameness. And we also use a system in, uh, to improve our accuracy and consistency in evaluating uh, nerve blocks on those very, very mild, lame, mild to minimal to minimal lamenesses. That's what we really usually do. We don't use it in all the lameness. Uh, yeah. We don't believe it. It's necessary, really necessary. If the, even if the use is very, really not time consuming at all. So, what we have done is we had to choose between only two cases because we you know, the dimension of the poster, obviously. And this is a very interesting case. We had a show jumping mare that was suddenly reluctant to gallop forward on jumps when turning on the right rein. And she stopped stopping and you know looking at the fence and the draw back. And uh, we, we can only see a very, very mild lane, so it was graded one out of five on the right turn. And so we. For initially evaluate the gate, the gate analysis, and what we have, uh, what we have found, that, if that was only that there was a, a decreased propulsion force on the on the left, on the left front, and surprisingly, when we do block with the PDN block, that uh, lack of propulsion increases to. Been even with the with the right with the right front, and uh, so we consider that a positive uh, positive block, and we took all the extras of the foot obviously without any changes, any significant changes. The only around the suspicion was a mild deformity of the right lobe of the of the DDFT on the preavicular area. Uh, Anyway, we referred the, the, the mare for, um, for an MRI, and she came out having uh, effect confirming that the DFT lesion, uh, but as well a collateral ligament of the of the coffee joint, the DIP joint, which was obviously the more uh, significant uh, finding that and that could justify the pain on the right mm -hmm. on the right side. Working. And now the mare, the mare has been treated and she's now recovering. She's not starting, starting trotting again. And, and we, had a, we have a few cases like this. I, I don't want to spend more time on that. It's Working. everyday work for everybody. Working. And the other very, very interesting case we had was, and what we think is a, is a real future for us, is to understand the possibilities of both to manifest some light neuropathies that we can hardly understand and we can hardly uh, prove without, uh, any, without any device. So in this case, of course, um, th this was a young horse, but I, I think four years old, turning five maybe, and the horse was uh, stiff in his neck, and he was some, sometimes stumbling, but only when ridden. You couldn't see anything when the horse was uh, in, a, in a normal activity or trotting, or trotting on the lunch, only when, when ridden. Uh, so what we, we, we 
examined the holes with the tenebris device, and what we found was an increased stance duration of the stance phase. And that single parameter is described in many papers as a gate abnormality when you have localized neuropathies or any kind, any kind of neurological disease involving the brachial plexus. And you have the, the same aspect has been described in the paper where thylazine was used to mimic ataxia. And they, they always found that you have an increase of the duration of the stance phase. Mm -hmm. So that's why we x-ray the, the, the neck and within the caudal neck we found a model alignment between C67 and a very hypertrophic uh, articular process with ventral uh, extension of the, pro of the articular process itself. And we, what we usually do is, for part of that, ultrasound the joint but also ultrasound the, the ventral nerve roots. Mm -hmm. And we found that they were in, uh, increased in size. And we correlate that to a local neuropathy, a local radiculopathy at C67, uh, C67 uh, vertebra. Mm -hmm. uh, we have tried to manage this source conservatively. So we had the joint injected and the nerve roots injected. The horse had minimal time of improving, mm -hmm. but then the, the signs come back again. Mm -hmm. So we, we refer the, the horse uh, for a standing CT of the neck and a myelography, and a CT myelogram of the neck, and that really confirmed the compression on the, on the nerve root here with a very large uh, Articular process, a compression on the nerve root, and subsequently a, a neuropathy. Mm -hmm. Radiculopathy and a neuropathy. So that confirms mm -hmm. our, 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 our findings in, in our clinical findings, yes. So finally, <laughs> the fact is, we are very happy to use this system. Clients are sometimes asking us okay. to monitor the horse in, in, the, in, the, in the, the evolution and the uh, improvement okay. after an injury. And we use it a lot when we have complex injury like this one, where you, you cannot repeat an MRI at, at every stage and you have to monitor the, 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 you know, the recovery, the rehabilitation process and, the re and give it a different timing. And what we do, is we reassess regularly the horse with the tendon boots. And if we have good data, mm -hmm. we increase the step okay. in the world. Okay. For, and we repeat that every month or so, step by step. yeah, okay. step by step. And as soon as, as long as we have a steady state, mm -hmm. we, we continue on increasing that. Okay. That's okay. And that's all. Okay. That's what we do. <laughs> Thank you.